Good afternoon, colleagues. I'm coming to you from the Central Services Building, and since this is the first week in March and it is Women's History Month, I'd like to take the opportunity to share two stories on that topic. Our Sonia Kovaleski Winter Cohort hosts 24 sixth grade girls over three consecutive Saturdays for special events. Since women are still underrepresented in STEM fields, the college hosts activities that expose them early to mentors and hands-on experiments to inspire their curiosity. Next weekend, I'll be speaking at the Every Girl Can Conference, which draws hundreds of local girls from fifth to eighth grade for a day of leadership development on the Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus. I'm eager to see the energy they always bring at that age and to help them imagine what they might accomplish with the right guidance. Last week's Board of Trustees meeting was very productive as always. We held a robust conversation with the College Council, which brought some excellent insights into our planning processes here at the college. My president's focus report this month was on some of the most complex processes at any institution, planning for IT and facilities. Both require long-term funding maps and the ability to shift directions as needed. Now, speaking of facilities planning, we're taking the next step toward the math and science building on the Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus. The board voted to approve the recommended designer for the project, and I'm pleased to say that the Smith Group, JJR, will be leading that effort. And as we've done all along, the community in Tacoma Park will be engaged in the design process through public charrettes. We'll also get some in-person input from our Middle States Evaluation Team, which will arrive on campus in just under two weeks. So in preparation of this, the board got a final briefing on the expectations for the visit and the plans we have already in place. Now, please remember there's only one more briefing being held on the Rockville campus tomorrow. So if you need to be brought up to speed, this is your chance. Another exciting opportunity taking place tomorrow is WAMU's Joshua Johnson, who will join me for the final presidential dialogue series of the spring semester. The host of the popular 1A, which is syndicated on NPR, Josh is a compelling, informative thinker, and I happen to know he's going to challenge us in some new ways. I hope that the semester is going well for each of you. Take care of yourself and each other and be well.